What, what, what do you think could be the underlying factors or the root cause for some of these crew coming up? In some instances where crews have happened, the governments have tended to lapse into misgovernance one way or the other. Either governments didn't take uh, care of their security arrangements, uh, uh, whether uh, and either they also didn't show appreciation of the geopolitics of the neighborhood. Do you think that regional blocks, example AU, ECOWA, SADC, have not been more proactive in seeing some of this and they wait until there is a coup before they want to react? If these people would think uh, your banning wouldn't bite, yeah, you, the sanctions would not bite them economically or politically or socially. So they, they just carry on in spite of the declaration of the regional groupings. And for this, uh, uh, the, 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 the associations, the groupings, should begin to uh, really think seriously um, how to give the, the, the constitutional provisions the bite. So when they say don't do it and you do it, they can get you. Uh, so you know that uh, perhaps uh, it's not profitable for you to try it. You have suffered um who, um, at the point you were in government uh, mm -hmm. as a parliamentarian, mm -hmm. and then there was a coup d'etat at the point to you with your 83 um, years in government. Uh, a lot of our generation have not really felt how it is like to live under a military government. Could you share with us how uh, it felt? It's not an experience I would recommend to mm -hmm. any generation. So I wouldn't advise anybody to hail a coup d'etat. It comes from faceless people you do not know, you haven't given any thing to, to keep for you or to manage for you, and they may not even be competent enough to do anything. And if they come, they use an opportunity, and they come to impose themselves on you and destroy your life for you. Is this what anybody should want? About the current leaders, um, leaders. yes, what, what kind of advice will you give them in dealing with some of the security concerns and also coup d'etat on the continent? Please try to live by your oath to the people. It's the underpinning of good governance. Mm -hmm. If you think uh, the period is too short, use the constitutional means to convince the people to say amend constitution or reform constitution to say lengthen tenure a bit, but please don't play smart. Mm -hmm. And then even when you should be stepping down, say, oh, the people have decided and there's a third term, you do that. And then in a way, uh, you, you push people into feeling they too can take things into their own hands to do what they mustn't do. Quiet as a, an old man should want. <laughs>